put like a, a real birdhouse on up, one of the branches. Up on the branch, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Eight years ago, Lisa Lee was told she may never have children. But with the help of modern medicine, today she and husband Darren are expecting not one, oh, there we go. but two little babies. Harder, oh, you're stronger. Come on, you can do it. Now the Lees are anxiously awaiting the arrival of their two bundles of joy. What's this stuff? Uh, baby powder? I first met Darren. Uh, we were day camp counselors during college. She was judging a cheerleading competition and she was wearing her Cal State Long Beach cheerleading uh, uniform and I saw her walking across the, the gym floor and I said to uh, one of my other co-workers, I said, you know, I have to meet her. I saw the way he was with the children and we had a great time and about a year later we started dating. Lisa and I dated for about eight years before we decided to get married. It is my happy privilege to pronounce Garrett and Lisa to in fact be husband and wife. And immediately after we got married, we decided to, to have kids. We first started trying to have a baby, I would say, the day we got married, right? Yes. From the very, very yes. beginning, we knew that we were ready. We, we had been dating for eight years and we were ready to have children. Um, unfortunately though, it was a lot harder than we had anticipated. We were looking at different options like adoption, uh, perhaps a surrogate mother, and all those things uh, were uh, being talked about. We eventually uh, resorted to in vitro fertilization and that's how we got pregnant. It was a long hard road, but we got here thanks to a lot of support and and good doctors. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. They told us the good news, and, and I was just ecstatic. Lisa couldn't believe it. It took her a few minutes to, for it to sink in. And I just looked at Darren, <laughs> and Darren jumped up right away and hugged the nurse, and he was just, I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to be a dad. And I'm, st I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute. What did she just say? I don't, I don't, what did she just say? And I just started crying. It almost, it brings back tears now. Well, we went in for our first ultrasound. And uh, the doctor was looking. And he said, there's one. Oh, there's two heartbeats. There's three heartbeats. And I said, I don't know if I can do this. What are we going to do? Three babies. And then as he was looking, he said, oh, 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 that's the same sack. That's the same baby. You're going to have twins. And we were excited because I think yeah, we kind of we wanted, wanted twins. twins. Yeah, yeah. Initially, we wanted a boy and a girl because we thought that would have been perfect. Uh, but uh, at this point, we know that they're two boys, and we're, we're still happy. We're really happy that they're going to be uh, what I hope are healthy boys, and it's going to be neat having two kids around the house. We decided eventually on Jameson and Brennan. This is Brennan. This is Brennan. And this is Jameson. However, if Jameson doesn't stop kicking me, he may end up being Mary. Yeah, we'll call him Mary. <laughs> I'm going to start out with great-grandparents, grandparents. My father is Italian, and my mother is Japanese, and Darren's parents are both Chinese. And we pretty much know the babies are probably going to look Asian. But they are Italian, and I feel it's important that they know that and they don't forget that. My maiden name is Canetta, so we decided that Canetta would be their middle name. And this way, the Italian side could be represented as well. We've had a couple of little scares. I have uh, what is called an incompetent cervix. So I had to have a cerclage uh, very early on, which is where they stitch the cervix closed. and. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we need to be really careful. Okay, want to let the brakes go? Okay, ready? All right. And there we go. We're off. About four weeks or so ago, I started using a wheelchair to get around because I, I'm not supposed to be in an upright position. I should always be reclined. Because they're twins, they don't have a lot of room to move around, and it looks like uh, these babies are going to be delivered through C-section. So we'll probably schedule that once the doctor feels it's a good time. 
bath. Baby bath. We need that. This is going to fill up real fast, huh? I think with so. Pictures and with, you know, toys and, and stuffed animals. And babies. Yeah, and babies. <laughs> Yeah. Eight years ago, I was told that I might not be able to have children. Sometimes I can't believe I'm pregnant, believe it or not. I still can't believe I'm pregnant. And I don't think I'll believe it till I see the babies. Looking forward to seeing the ultrasound. Probably huge. They feel huge. <laughs> Hi, doctor. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Any problems? Nope. Doing great. Nope. They're kicking. They're kicking like crazy. Now, can you tell them apart? Can you tell which one's kicking more than the other? Or are they kicking about the same? Um, this one was kicking more, and then now this one's chimed in. Okay. So they're both pretty active. Okay, because you'll notice that they may be active at different times, and they may one may be more active than the they other one. They take turns. Okay. So they're always, I'm always feeling something. Okay, I'm going to just let you down. Okay. Okay. Well, you're getting ready, huh? Yeah. Everything looks normal. Wow. You can see them moving. Uh-huh. Gosh. They've grown so, so big. big. They're getting so big that you can't, you know, you can only see that parts of them, so it's really yeah. hard to, to tell everything. Here's the umbilical cord that we're looking at. And that's, that's a, a foot. foot. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Two boys. Do you think it's uh, probably going to be cesarean? I hope not. I think you can do it because the head's down. I don't think you should have too much trouble. All this time we were thinking C-section. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. I'm sure it was going to be a C-section. Since the first one is still head down, we shouldn't have too much trouble uh, as far as him getting out of position and the other one coming down first. Mm -hmm. And once the first one's out, then the second one then has lots of room. And there's two ways to deliver the second one. We could either deliver it as a breech, and if the size looks not too much bigger or anything like that, then it shouldn't be a trouble to deliver it. No kidding. Good. All right. Any other questions? I think that's it. All right, good. Okay. Well, let me help you up. Okay. Okay, and I'll see you in two weeks. Okay. Okay, any okay. problems, give me a call. We have two dogs, and we've been a little worried about how they're going to react when we bring the babies home. So we asked the dog behaviorist to come over and to give us some advice. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Tamar. Hi, I'm Darren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, come on in, and I'll introduce you to Lisa and her dog, so Duchess and Chloe. Great. This is my wife, Lisa. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God, they're so cute. Well, before we would let them in, let me just sit with you and talk to you for a couple of minutes about okay. what the problems are, what mm -hmm. the issues are. My main concern is Chloe, the little one. Yes. She's really, really dominant. Okay. Um, she barks, she jumps, and um, she's in control, not us. Mm -hmm. What she's doing, she's using her cuteness and miniature, miniature size mm -hmm. to kind of like to control you because you don't think that such a munchkin little dog can be such in charge type of a personality. So we're not going to butt heads with her. We're not going to scream no. We're not going to correct her. We're just going to do a lot of different things to show her that we are in charge. Okay. Sit. Sit. Give it to her. Good sit. That's a good sit. 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 Give it to her. Good sit. She is sitting. You gotta be quicker with your reward. Okay. Okay? And again, tell us sit. Sit. The main thing we're learning is that it's not so much the dogs that need the training, it's Lisa and I who need to learn how to better manage the dogs. Sit. Sit. And good sit. I want you guys to pay attention to the tone of voice you use when you're talking to her. I do not want you to go all these scream commands. Mm. You would not like it. Mm -hmm. You would not like to hear yourself. Mm -hmm. So just say, that's a good off. Okay, just say off, sit. Talk to her as if you're talking to, you know, to a child with a lot of compassion, a lot of love.
Because she's learning. Chloe, off. She moved, but I wanted to move more. Oh. Good off. That's a good off. One of our major worries is what Chloe's going to do if one of the babies tugs at her ear or tugs at her tail. And we really want to know that she's prepared for this. If you're going to spend the next few months just every day doing a little pulling and tugging, not to hurt her, just to get her used to all the things that a baby, ooh, what a cute puppy. Yeah. And even though, just teach her, instead of like to be freaked out, oh my God, what happened? Uh -huh. To say, oh, where's my treat? So, how do you feel now after seeing the change in your dogs? I feel much better. Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that the two dogs and our two boys are going to be in the same house. And yeah. Hope, and I know for sure they're going to get along now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And you can either email me or call me if you have any question. OK. All right? Thank you very much. Take care. Okay, now you can relax. Yeah. Everything's done. I hope they don't send me home. That's all I have to no, say. No, they're not gonna. Well, you, you said that, um, because you've always felt pressure down there, so yeah. I imagine when they take the uh, stitch out, they're gonna dilate real fast. I hope so. Dr. Williams put in a stitch to close up the cervix to make sure Lisa didn't miscarry, so today's the day that he's gonna take that out. And hopefully, if all goes well, in the next few hours, her cervix will dilate and um, we'll have two baby boys at the end of the night. I need you to just relax your legs a little bit. Actually, put your fists underneath your hips. We just took out the stitch, and uh, after we removed the stitch, which was holding Lisa's cervix closed, she's now three centimeters. We've been monitoring the babies before we took out the stitch, and we noticed that we're having a little bit of problems with baby B. So we're going to be keeping her in the hospital, and she will definitely be delivering the babies tonight or tomorrow morning. It feels like the worst menstrual cramp I've ever had. It's not contractions, it's just um, like the pressure on my bones. Well, because you haven't been up that much. I want to lie down. OK. One of the babies looks like the heartbeat is kind of uh, going in and out. So the doctor said, it, you know, just it's possible for, you know, both for a vaginal delivery, but just keep in mind that if one of the babies is a little stressed, we might have to do a C-section. So now, I don't know, I'm kind of, I don't know. I, I, I want a vaginal delivery now. Your contractions are going to get stronger now that your water's broken. But we're still going to let you walk around. So okay. don't worry about that. And um, we'll just monitor you, and we'll let you keep walking as long as both babies are doing real good. That's not a problem. And the fluid was clear, so that's good. We're doing real good. Hi, Lisa. Dr. Williams called, and he asked me to start you on Pitocin, which is going to help your contractions get stronger and more regular. And uh, we're just going to increase it a little bit at a time, depending on how your labor's going. OK. All right. Well, 1030 has come and gone. They didn't come. I thought we were going to have babies by 10 30. Come on, I'm tired. Spit them out. <laughs> you know, labor is murder. <laughs> <laughs> I am just so exhausted. Please. <laughs> Lisa and I have been up all night and trying to sleep in between. Uh, 
the nurses coming in and fixing her up. Uh, so it's been kind of a long night. Lisa's uh, in a little bit of pain. Her back is hurting. She has her epidural. She's a little apprehensive, and that has a lot to do with the way she's feeling right now. Hi, Mom and Dad. Pick up the phone. Time to wake up. Hello? Time to wake up. Get out of bed. Hi, good morning. How's it going? Things are going well. Good. Um, she is uh, about seven centimeters dilated right now. Uh -huh. So uh, the nurse said, go ahead and give you guys a call. Okay. Don't rush or anything like that. You have some time. Okay. Okay? Uh, all right, we'll see you when you get here. Okay, Jerry. I think we're about ready. Just about there. Got a little bit more to go on one side. Okay. I think we're going to call Dr. Williams and have him come in. Okay. Okay? Two more, or three more, and we'll be done. Okay. Two more. Oh, this one hurts up here. Ouch. Push it as you push it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Look, right. good job. Go, 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 go. Good. Gosh, all good. this team effort. My good. gosh. Oh, come we can't go wrong. Good. good. Again. And one, well, and I, two, good. and three. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Five, oh, good one. and six. Oh. Seven and good. eight and nine oh, no. and She's ten. Got She's cute. Oh. Good. Keep pushing. Wait, wait, wait. Look at, look at it. It's Five, coming. Up. It's coming. Six. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. 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 Ten. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. 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 Look at. Oh. Look, look, look. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, baby, come with me. Dr. Jabaji's going to check him. He's got all his fingers and toes. We're not dead, baby. Yeah. I think we have one more to go. We got the baby. It looks good. No, no, it looks good. Oh, good job. Yeah, he's coming down nicely. Is he just going to pop out? <laughs> no, that's not easy. quite. Not quite. Oh. Still have to push. <laughs> Fingers? <laughs> Just having the baby's heartbeat going down a little bit, so we're trying to get this one out as quick as we can. One, come on, come on, is you doing it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale. One more time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. <laughs> ten. Good. You okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to just take him to Dr. Jabaji here and snap him up a little bit. There he is. There he is. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Come on. Come on. There was one sitting 
Ich bin mit das auf dem Markt. Ja. Zeig. Ja. Can you give me a syringe, Jane? He was the second one to come out. Uh, the heart rate was a little bit on the low side. Just he needed some bagging and he picked up very nicely. And I'm just waiting for his tone to pick up. He looks nice color, breathing on his own. Everything is well. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Okay, baby, let's go. Uh, yes, that's what I like. Okay. Here we go. Or Lisa's going, boy, this is a lot of here. <laughs> Wait, where's the camera? Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> Can I take a picture? Where is my camera, little one? Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations. Beautiful. Hey, babies. You are out for the count, buddy. Hey, let's put your sock back on. This is Brennan, and this is Jameson. And they're twins. Brennan and Jameson are very different. Not only do they look different, they act very different. Jameson has a lot of energy, and he tends to cry a little bit more, whereas Brennan is a, ver a very quiet baby, and he'll only cry if uh, he's hungry or needs to be changed. We feel blessed in uh, every way possible about this event. Um, we tried for over two years to have kids, and we couldn't do it. And, all the uh, crying and the heartache and the emotions uh, really took a toll on us, but uh, in the end, we had these wonderful boys, and it's it's really all paid off. He's gonna do karate, you know that, right? <laughs> as soon as they came out, I could not explain the feeling that I had. Um, it was completely just joy. You forget everything, all the heart, all the hardships of being pregnant and and the labor, you forget about it, and you want to do it all over again. Sleep tight. Life is just so much more wonderful now that we have them. It's all worth it. <laughs>